So I'm sure some of the staff members are going to have questions about how to change uh, the settings on their computer so that it doesn't uh, go to sleep quickly or lock them out quickly. Uh, some people have preferences where they want their computer to go to sleep right away to save energy. Uh, others don't want their computer to go to sleep because then they just have to wake it up. Sometimes that involves logging in again. Uh, sometimes that involves, um, you know, breaking, uh, breaking off a screen saver. There's a lot of reasons why people um, might want to change those preferences. But if you're in the Windows desktop, um, you can right click on open desktop space um, anywhere where there's not an icon and you're going to get this context menu. And one of the things on that context menu is going to be personalized. So if you go down to personalize and click on it, you're going to get this screen, which is new with Windows 8. It's kind of similar in Windows 7, but uh, the one thing you want to, the first thing you want to check is to see whether you have a screensaver. Uh, and you look down here and you see that there's no screensaver on this computer. Sometimes if you have a screensaver, on a computer, um, it might set to go on at certain times. So this is, I clicked over here, by the way, to bring up this screensaver settings uh, menu. And you see here it says none, but I have choices. I could pick anything that's in there. Sometimes people like screensavers. I don't, I never have. Uh, but if I picked something, um, I would be able to customize the settings, I would be able to preview it, and also I'd be able to determine how many minutes of inactivity it's going to take for that screensaver to come on. Um, so for me, never wanting screensavers, I always pick none. But whether you choose none or whether you uh, choose one, um, something that you want to be aware of is this. On resume display log on screen. If that is checked, like it is now, when it goes to the when it goes to the screen saver, to get out of the screen saver, you're gonna have to log in again. And some people just hate logging in all the time. They don't want to put their password in more than they absolutely have to. And if that's if that's the way you feel, you want to make sure that this is not checked. Now, uh, let's say I've got something picked as a screensaver, and I want that screensaver to come on uh, every 10 minutes. So 10 minutes of inactivity, and the screensaver is going to come on, but I can break out of it and get right back into my desktop the way that it was when it went to sleep, unless this box is checked. Now that this box is checked, what's going to happen is, after 10 minutes of inactivity, the screensaver is going to come on. And if I want to get back in, I try to break through the screensaver and I'm going to have to log in. And I'm irritated. And I'm calling Mr. Brackett saying, why do I have to log in all the time? And so I want to make sure that box is unchecked. All right. I am changing it back to none because, once again, I hate screensavers. One other thing you want to do is uh, to check your power management settings uh, because power management settings could be causing your computer to do things um, that uh, after a certain amount of inactivity uh, and those things might uh, be irritating to you. So I click on that little thing down there that says change power settings and I get this power options screen. Now there's a lot of writing here. You can ignore most of it and click on change plan settings for whichever plan happens to have uh, the radio button activated. So here we have HP optimized. Uh, I'm going to change the plan settings on that. And you'll end up with this because I'm on a laptop computer. Uh, I have two columns. I have the on battery column and I have the plugged in column. If you're on a desktop, you will not have this because your desktop doesn't have a battery that it runs off of. Uh, if you're on a desktop, you will only have <clears throat> you'll only have this column. 
excuse me. So you can see that my settings, whether on battery or plugged in, are to never dim the display, never turn off the display, never put the computer to sleep, and always use the maximum brightness regardless of whether or not I'm on battery or plugged in. I like it this way because um, I don't I don't particularly want the computer to save energy if it means it's going to irritate me. Um, but maybe if you're on battery, you want to save battery life, uh, you could change these settings so that if I'm on battery and it's inactive for three minutes, the display will dim. And then maybe after 10 minutes of inactivity, I want the, turn, the display to turn off. Uh, and then maybe I want the computer to go to sleep after 20 minutes. Uh, and also maybe I want the brightness while I'm on battery to be half brightness. Uh, this, will, this will maximize your battery life. This will allow your battery to last much longer uh, if I click Save Changes. Uh, but I'm not going to because, once again, I don't want any of those. My preference is for things to always be full power all the time. Uh, and so I'm going to do that. And I'm going to make sure that those changes save. But I click into Change Plan Settings. You can actually make your own plans. Uh, you can make additional plans. Uh, I've never done it before. Um, but I would think that um, over here on the left it says create a power plan and I could call that power plan whatever I want I could call it Phil's power plan and if I call it Phil's power plan then I could click next and I could say you know these are what I want uh, and then I hit create and all of a sudden, you see now there's uh, another one. There's Phil's power plan. There's the power saver plan. Um, I don't know where the, the HP optimized is also here. Um, so I could make power plans uh, and then choose between them if I felt like it. Um, but for now, I'm going to stick with the power plan that I had when I came in here. Um, and then that's going to... Uh, affect the way that my computer runs. It's also going to keep me from having to wake the computer up um, if you don't want your computer to go to sleep very often. You can tweak these settings so that it never happens. Um, once you're done with that change power settings screen, you want to make sure to click apply uh, so that all the changes that you made in those menus end up applying permanently. And then click OK and close this window. And now my computer is going to do what it is that I want it to do. It's not going to fake me out uh, after two minutes of inactivity. It's not going to ask for my login credentials. Uh, that is the way to change those things so they're not so irritating. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much.